after me, David McCulloch, I do um, coastline cleaning and maintenance from time to time. As you notice, this is the vast terrain at Lady Villa. And one of our patrollers, if I come closer right here, we found one of these little sea turtle, which is an axbill that have been trapped under a piece of net. Apparently, it came out from in here after I have already laid his egg or whatever and was entrapped in a piece of gill net that was abandoned here or would drift on the coastline side right here and our thing is to free this axe bill away from the, the disaster and carefully so that it doesn't get injured because this is one of our extinct species and I am working as an individual or group with the Ladyville Administrative Organizing Committee and Excellent Construction Associates to release these kind of things. This is a project that we normally do, which is to come on the coastline and do cleaning, looking for debris like nets. I'm going to place this turtle here as to check for injuries and also to remove this old piece of net that have been um, abandoned. This is the things that we look for to, to protect the malante. The protecting the malante, these are one of the, some of the things that we, our project is consist of to get old nets. As you notice, it has been here for a while. And um, is to get these things out of, um, out of ways that they will injure anybody or any animal. Um, we're at the point of Heritage Point Condors and this is where a piece of, this is a big bite. This is a big bite here in Ladyville that the coastline consists of. Check the coastline, do a little video on the coastline right along. Right along with can, can Catch Heritage Point. Um, right around the coastline that goes towards Corozal and uh, behind Sand Hill and Bomba Barmouth, that direction behind San Pedro. As you notice, we're going to be putting this in the boat and we're going to be taking it inland where we'll be burning it up. Um, let's take a walk along some more to see if anything is anything else is around and as we are doing this portion of the coastline so there, no? So, so far, jump in, brother. Jump in, I got it. Alright, we're going to be doing the coastline continuation of this point and we're going to be letting this sea turtle go there at a um, uh, uh, more or less safe area closer to a beach zone and um look at the coastline this is heritage point that we go along as you notice there is another piece of debris that have been dropped in here there it is there it is mr wallace another piece of debris that has been dropped uh, let me get that out of the water because these are things that drift in the bite as sea, sea comes along as the sea brings up its tide and everything and as you notice it's another whole piece of net and we're going to put it here for disposing of let's continue along to see if there is any other stuff careful you don't lose your video camera Look at the bike ahead of us there. Yeah. All around to the north section, this is the section that we plan to cover today. But in the meantime, we're approaching a little beach side here where we're gonna be um, letting go this axe bill. This um, project is a project that involves building fabricated Material, as you notice, what is you can see in the distance over there, one of those fabricated reef material, the, the 
cement bed in the middle of the sea, past the white walls. Alright, this is for reproduction on the coastline and at the same time where people could fish in, walk in the water or the, the dory and they could um, catch a few fish to eat. Alright, this is this seems like a nice beach area where this turtle could be released. This is Heritage Point Condos and our project continue from different time in the month to different time in the month and we are so sad to have found this turtle locked up. We are so sad to have found this this turtle locked into a net. But at the same time, I'm happy that we did because it could have been injured. No? Pick it up. We are fish. We are also fishermen. Here go Mr. Wallace. This is the sea turtle, the axbill. It was trapped in that piece of net right there that drift in the bites here. And um, we are happy that we came along to could have could have let it go. You have to check from this way to this way as you're in a nice view. Did you get a good shot at the axbill? Um, we're going to be, did you get a picture of me and the axel? Yeah. Um, we're going to be releasing this as I'm a part of the Excellent Construction Associates project and the Labor Administration Organizing Committee to do cleaning up at the coastlines and debris, dispose of garbage, debris or any hazardous or any um, material that caused germ spreading and that project consists of going through the Belize Old River and to pass the water treatment plant and also or coastline we are doing coastline today and this is what we found mr wallace this is where we're gonna put the sea turtle back into the thing get a picture of me and the turtle and we're going to release him into the water let's check him for his any injuries oh it's a little red here as you notice it haven't been injured at all that much you notice the the belly complexion it's all good um the next section is all great, the fins are good, and um, we're ready to let this baby go back to the wild. There you go, and there he goes, right there into the pelican. Man, what a beauty, full of energy, full of energy, full of energy. Alright, um, we're in the wild now, let me take a picture of you Mr. Wallace along with the same video that we have been we could acknowledge who I was around. This is um, Captain Wallace as well, and he's a part of what we do involving our maintenance project. And we have did an excellent job today, Mr. Wallace. And look at me, look at me, don't, don't. And I need to get the background that we're here, where we're at. And um, end of this video for right now, as we continue the project of um, coastline cleaning and maintenance. If we find anything else today that is going to be of any significance to the project, we'll be having it recorded. Thank you, end of quote.